Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be bringing you guys another Fortnite Battle Royale video, but this video is going to be a tips and a tricks video. Now, a lot of people, you know, play Fortnite Battle Royale, but they can't get any, even the top 5, or even to victory number 1, or victory royale. No one can really get to it, so I'm going to be making this video so that you the player the person that's not great at fortnite can you know get to them high stages you know fortnite battle royale winner or at least in the top five so stay tuned and let's jump into it all right ladies and gentlemen so for one of my tips you will need to invest in something but never fear a lot of people do have this thing so without further ado, let's jump into it. So, my tip number one. Think where you're going to land. So what do I mean when I say think where you're going to land? So, a lot of people just blindly jump off the bus and go for anywhere or the most populated areas to get the best weapons. Now, that's what I've done here, but it's not always the right thing to do. Now, yes, fair enough, there might be some more equipment. But the longer you are alive, the more chance you have getting a better equipment. So say if someone's equipment's just lying on the floor, you can loot them and scavenge what they have left. You need to plan before where you're going to land. You don't want to just land somewhere willy-nilly and then be like, well, where have I landed? What, what am I going to do now? Because it's never going to work like that. If you're, you know planning where you're going to land you can plan your next move so when you've landed you know where to go instantly it's about a thought process ladies and gentlemen tactical minds win fortnite battle royale for my tip number two don't always go for kills now what do i mean when don't always go for kills so as you guys know i'm a call of duty call of duty youtuber at heart solely call of duty i mean i don't really play world war 2 that much anymore because the game just sucks to be brutally honest but what do i mean when i say don't go for kills and why am i saying i'm a call of duty youtuber as a call of duty youtuber i'm always trying to go for the kills go for the best gameplay now in fortnite it's a whole different kettle of fish you don't want to always go for the kills sometimes leaving the kills will be the better option you know you don't want to just go for the kills because you know if you're running after someone to go and get a kill how do you know someone's not running after you you know you could get that kill be in the middle of looting someone and then BAM someone shoots you in your fucking asshole. what are you gonna do then well you won't be able to do anything because you'll be dead that's what so my tip my second top tip don't always go for kills you know Plan where you're going to land, and if you can't make the kill, or you have to run after a kill and it's not a simple kill, don't go for the kill. Tip number three, buy a cheap headset. Now, footsteps in this game are stupidly loud. You could probably hear them better through your TV, but to just get the edge on your opponent's Invest in a cheap headset. It doesn't have to be expensive like Astros or Turtle Beach. Even the little PlayStation headsets. They are actually pretty decent. My mate had a pair. And you know what? I could sound whore people from like halfway across the map. Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But you know what I mean? I could sound whore people very, very good. So invest in a cheap headset. They'll cost you about 20 quid, which isn't a lot. You could just ask your mum and dad for that if you don't have a job. Ask your mum and dad, you know, come borrow 20 quid, and they just do chores to get the money back. It's really that easy, ladies and gentlemen, and it it doesn't take a lot. All you got to do is listen and move yourself to where the sound's going, or move yourself away from where the multiple footsteps are. Because if you can hear their footsteps, you're already at an advantage. If someone's got a headset and you don't. They're an advantage to you, because what are you going to do? You can hit, They can hear every footstep you're making. They can hear your every move, but you can't hear theirs because you didn't have a headset. So I'd advise investing in a cheap headset and, you know, just dominate in that lobby. My next tip, ladies and gentlemen, is don't always be on the move. So what do I mean when I say don't always be on the move? So look at this guy here. He's running. He's out in the open. This game is not like Call of Duty for my Call of Duty fans. This game has to be played tactically, like I said before, when you're planning your jump. You need to plan where you're going to pretty much camp. 
Because in this game, if you get caught in the open, you're going to get picked off by a sniper. You're going to get shot in the back, you're going to get shot in the front, wherever. And it's just going to make easy pickings for you. So, when you're running about, do what I'm doing. Set up camp, you know. Below me, I've got a little trap set. And later on in the video, I actually get a kill with that trap. So, that trap right in front of your screens now, ladies and gentlemen. So, don't always be on the move. You don't have to always move about in this game. You know, obviously, you know, the map does get smaller. Which is an issue because you can't camp all the time. But you can move. Once you think you've cleared out an area, you move forward, you move, you progress, you, you know, play tactically. And what I would also suggest, ladies and gentlemen, is get loads of wood. Now, if you are in the open because you have to move because the storm's coming in, you know, you can make a quick barrier around you, you know. That will protect you for a certain amount of time, give you time to get away. So, as well as camping, collect materials is probably really important as well, ladies and gentlemen. That's sort of like a bonus tip, I'd say. Because I gave you the actual tip, and this is sort of a bonus tip to help you with that tip, I guess. See, I'd say it's a bonus tip. Yeah, yeah, we'll just say it's a bonus tip. So, don't always be on the move when you don't have to be. If you have to move, obviously move. But if you don't have to move, you know, don't move. If you feel like a town's cleared, like this tiled towers or whatever, tilted towers. Is that, is that what it's called? It's really small on my screen. Tilted towers, I think it's called. Um... When the, the eye starts to shrink, you know, you have to move. But now, I'm fine. I don't have to move. And say this area was clear of anyone, I could get on the move. If I was satisfied enough, you know, no one was really about. I mean, there was a lot of people in this game, like, in this area particularly. But if there wasn't a lot of people about, you don't need to move. You can just stay in your position. Now, look at this guy. He's not staying in his position. Easy pickings in the back. Obviously, I didn't get the kill because I suck. But... You know what I mean, you don't always have to move, and you can get really simple and easy kills. And in that situation, you know, I said don't always go for kills, but in that situation you can go for kills because you don't have to really do a lot, you just got to shoot in the back. I know I failed, but I'm not the greatest at this game. And I, I know you, you might be thinking now, well if you're not the greatest at the game, why are you giving me tips? Well because I've been victory number one royale, like twice, and been in the top five like ten times. That's why I'm giving you these tips, because I want to help you, because I love you all. Everyone is my family. If you're part of the Fluky fam, you are my family. Yeah. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, you have to grind. Now, as a beginner, you can, you know, progress and get better. But this tip, you need some level of skill. In fact, in general, in Fortnite, you need some level of skill. Camping in a corner ain't just going to cut it and not going for kills isn't going to cut it. Well, it can, but you might get shot in the back, which is a shame. But if, you know, someone's coming at you and you shoot them in the back, but you can't finish off that kill because you've got no gun skill whatsoever, like, what are you going to do? Like me with this sniper, I'm shit with it. So, you know, he sits there. And an easy pickings, camping, well, not camping, tactical immobilization, ladies and gentlemen. But you have to grind, you know, you have to improve. You can't just, you know, jump on this game and Fortnite and expect to win. Because without grinding, you're not going to win. That is a fact, ladies and gentlemen. And I think my trap's been destroyed. But it did get a kill earlier for those with a keen eye and paying attention. But that has been the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. I would just like to thank everyone for the support over yesterday's video and the day before's video. Popping over 300 views. Thank you, everyone. Getting two new subscribers. Ah, uh, Just fantastic shit. Keep it all up, ladies and gentlemen. I love you all. But this is Lukey, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, by the way, my recording stopped and just cut off, so yeah, I'm sorry. I love you all.